No More Newbie here with a complete guide on splitting and trimming share factory clips on the PS5 showing you not only how to do it but also how splitting and trimming clips affect text and overlays and how to undo a split or trim if you're not happy with the result. Also I'll show you what happens when you make too many splits in your project and how to get round it when it happens. Let's get started. So we've gone into a share factory project which has one clip in it. Beginning with split clips, a split clip is basically taking one clip and cutting it into two clips wherever you want to. That makes two clips and then you can split each new clip as much as you want to also. But do know you can't split a clip if it means that you would end up with a clip less than one second long. Share factory lets you know if it's okay to split a clip by adding two orange arrows either side of the timeline. So how do we split clips in share factory well using this fortnite gameplay as an example we have a clip with a kill that we want to use but we don't need the gameplay before or after it so we can split the clip just before the kill by pressing square and then split clip and that will give us two options that will give us the option to confirm or cancel the split clip so we press confirm and then that's split into two clips now we don't need all of this gameplay before the kill so we're just going to push the square and delete the clip and that leaves us with this kill here now once we've done that we've got gameplay afterwards that we don't actually need so we just need to split the clip again but this time at the end of the clip when we want it to finish so if we just go back a little bit to play the kill and then we just pause the video at the point we want it to finish and we push the cross button there to split the clip and confirm and then that split it into two and then we don't need all this gameplay afterwards so we can just push the square button and confirm the delete there and that's left us just with this kill clip which we can then use for our video now another reason you might want to split clips is when you want to add effects of some kind but only to parts of the project let's go back to the same fortnite kill clip but this time add some effects in this example we are going to make two splits and put the effect in between each of the splits we're going to push square and split clip to do the first split and we're going to have it right here just before the kill starts and then just the moment we move away from looking down the sniper view we can push the uh, cross and then split clip confirm there so we've got a really small actual clip here but while we're on that clip we're going to add a couple of things so what we can do while we're on it we can just push the square button and go to pan and zoom for example and then just zoom in a little bit more i mean you can obviously do whatever you want this is just showing you an example of what you could use the splits for to create a little effect and then what you can do is push the cross button and go to add filter and then choose whatever filter you want. I'm going to just use this luminance one and then that's pretty much it. And this is what it will look like. So just a couple of seconds just to make the clip a little bit more interesting. And, and that's just another example of how you could use split clip if you wanted to. Another example of when you might want to use a split clip is when you want to add a transition at some point during your project. And if you want to do that, you just find where you want to add it, push the square button and go to split clip and then split the clip and then what you can do is on the clip before the split clip you push the cross button and that will then give you the option of going to add transitions so with this you just need to choose the right length transition for the clip now for example if we chose this one which is four seconds it says unable to add transition that the new transition is too long so that means that the clip is not long enough for the transition to happen so we can go back in and just choose a different transition so just push the cross button again go to add transition and then we can just choose one that's slightly shorter so maybe this one which is i think two seconds i think it said so then it's added the transition and then you can just push play see what it looks like and take it from now normally after the transition you might want to change the clip or just keep it the same for that effect so what happens to stickers or text if we have them on a clip but we later need to split the clip for some reason this whole clip has stickers and text throughout it if we decide to split the clip around halfway what happens let's have a look we split the clip here and we can see that the text and stickers have been kept before the split but anything after the split has been cleared therefore it might be best to make all your splits first and then add images and text afterwards 
Last thing to say about splitting clips is each time you split a clip, it adds another clip to the project. ShareFactory has a clip limit of 100 clips per project. So if you get to 100 clips and try adding another clip, it says the project clip limit has been reached. This clip cannot be selected. So make sure you're aware of that each time you're making a project that has a decent amount of clips in it. So what do you do if you do reach the clip limit in ShareFactory? Well, there is a way around it. The first thing you need to do is just look over all of your projects so far and make sure you complete all the edits that you want to have done. The reason for looking over the project is once you've completed the next step, it's much harder to edit the existing project. So it's worth getting it as best as you can have it before you move on to this next step. So then in order to be able to start adding more clips again, you need to press the triangle button to export your project. Click on share later exit your project and then go to new project and then as usual you just choose a creator pack that you want to use and push the cross button and then untick all of these four boxes go to most recent and then just choose your exported project here push the cross button and push the square button to start the project now once you get into the project you'll notice that you will have not the 100 clips that we had before, it's all one clip. So there you go, we've just reset the clip limit and we're back to one clip in the project and we can just start adding clips again to carry on your project. So that is how to get around the 100 clip limit. Okay, if you've made it this far, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help out the channel. Thank you very much. So let's move on to trimming clips. So if you aren't adding any transitions, filters, etc. to part of the clip, then trimming the clip is better than splitting the clip as by trimming the clip it will remain as one clip as opposed to splitting the clip which makes one clip two clips so how do you trim a clip well you press square and click on trim clip on the controller the L stick moves the start of the clip and the R stick moves the end of the clip so watch the video on the left for the starting point and watch the video on the right for the ending point so using the same Fortnite clip, we are trimming the clip to just show the kill. We are moving the left stick to start before the kill and moving the right stick to end after the kill. Press X to confirm. So this is how it looks. And if you need to adjust it, just press the square and trim clip again and you can adjust it where needed. To make smaller, more precise frame by frame adjustments, use the L1 and L2 and the R1 and R2. Using these will give you more precise control over the start and end of your clip. Another top tip is to use the trim lock function, which is useful if you know that you want the clip to be a particular length of time. You can trim the length of the clip to get it how you want it. To keep that length clip, press the triangle and then you can just move the locked clip along the project, keeping the clip length the same, but just changing where on the project it captures. Now this is useful to know, but not something that you are likely to use that often. To finish with the trim lock, you just push the cross button to confirm. The good thing about using trim clip is that you can go back into it and adjust it easily as and when you need to. Okay, so how does trimming a clip affect existing text or stickers? So if we go back to the Fortnite clip that has the text and the sticker on it, and we can go into the trim clip function and use the left and right stick on the controller to change it. And then we bring it down so it's a little bit smaller and we can have a look, see what it looks like when we come out of it and how it's affected. So if we come out of that, we can see that the text and the sticker is still in place. But do note that if you trim it again, it seems that the text and sticker doesn't adjust for a second time, especially if you make the clip longer again, it doesn't lengthen the text and stickers with it. So on those occasions, it does frustratingly mean you have to go back to the text and stickers and change the durations back to however you want them to be. Okay, so lastly, there is a question that I've been asked before, which is, can you undo a split on ShareFactory? Well, the answer is no and yes, as there is no actual way of undoing a split clip. But what you can do is go into one of the remaining clips and trim it to make it the full length again. So, for example, if we make a split in this clip, a and delete the clip that we don't want, we can go onto the remaining clip and press square and go to trim clip. And you can see that we have the option to lengthen that clip. 
So in effect, we do have the option of undoing the split because we can move the right hand stick all the way to the end of the project as if we hadn't split the clip in the first place and it's kind of reset the split. So that's the guide on share factory splitting and trimming clips. On screen are the videos to watch next. Please hit the like button if you found this useful and subscribe if you haven't already to catch more future share factory tutorials. Thanks for watching and bye.